Hello and welcome to another housing ideas and tips video with Rosa. In this video I'm going to just give you some general tips and ideas on how you can put together your own blacksmith workshop. So if you've seen my part one and two of the blacksmith forges you will know how you can do that yourself but if you haven't I recommend you go watch those two videos that I've made previously as they'll help you to set up your own forge but this one's going to be talking about the actual blacksmith work area and what you'll need to set up your own so firstly I recommend you at least get one blacksmithing station I have two because this is my shop as well which is out there so I figured having two would be good for role play reasons just as it's a shop they can pump out as many weapons and that as they can so these stations you can get I think they're 35 rip vouchers each just from Rollers Halalu the Rip Merchant. So yeah, they're pretty good because it's got the anvil on it, some ore around it, and a hammer and the the tongs in there. You can interact with them like that. This one here I've angled just right because when it spins around, you can see the forge behind it. And no blacksmith workshop is complete without some tools and that lying around, just like some tongs here. These tongs are the, just the tongs forge. They're a recipe and craftable item in game. So I have a few of these lying around here just one here one in this trough here and I've got some extra ones here on the shelf so it's good just to have those lying around as they're needed in a forge to get out the um, weapons and that that you have in the forge ready to hammer or whatever and hammers I recommend getting a couple of those in your forge as well these hammer forges are a recipe and craftable item in game as well so I have one here leaning on this blacksmith station and it still is interactable which is good so I do have quite a few of these hammers lying around got just one leaning against there one on here one on the floor here and some extras on the shelf again it just makes it look cluttered and like you're just ready to work on things which is what you want in a workshop and these bellows here this one is the blacksmith bellows sorry the smith bellows which is an achievement item from any blacksmith vendor in the game I have two of those just one here and I put a spare one on the shelf there at the top and there is another type of bellows in the game this one is smaller as you can see it's the Indoral Bellows Practical it's a recipe and craftable item in game I mainly added that one in because it's extra an extra bellows and as I said with the hammers and that just makes the area look more cluttered and I have another one of those up here on the shelf as well 
just as a spare. This water trough here, the common trowel, it doesn't have water in it, but can imagine that it does and because the ones on these blacksmith stations are kind of small but they do have water in them but I just figured an extra one there would be good and I just put a tongue in there these little cooking pots here just the dress pot sauce it's a recipe and craftable item in game. You might put some metal in there to melt down. I just figured those would be good to add in a blacksmith workshop. And as you can see around, I've got a couple of these ores, just the harvester's ore. It's an achievement item from any blacksmithing vendor in the game. So I've got a few of these just lying around on the floor and on this bench here and there. It's a good idea to do that just again to make the area look more cluttered and as it's all you'll be using it to make weapons and stuff and here a wheelbarrow with a rock in it the common wheelbarrow barrel it's a recipe and craftable item in the game but you can use any or you don't even have to and that rock there just the pebble smooth desert I added this yellow rock in here because over here I have a sword ready to be repaired and it is kind of yellowish orange so I just put that in just to match that and I have other rocks over here just a pebble volcanic chunk and I have a Cold Harbor Rock Cluster but as you can see I'm only showing that rock and the others are in the wall. I just did that because these rocks they kind of look like a type of ore which you might use and same with this one could be ebony or whatever and I just got a hammer next to it and in the game there's no chisel type furniture item to use with the hammer to chisel off bits of the rock or ore but I did find this item here in Clockwork City it's also an achievement item just the clockwork stylus it's not really a chisel they mainly use it for engraving on the sequence plates but as you can see it has like the pointy end of there which is kind of like a chisel so just implemented that there and yeah, you make it work. And I put some two extras on the shelf up here, which works well. These tool cases. I added a couple of these, just that one and one here, because you'd use them to help with making the finer details on weapons or the shields. For the shields that I have here and this grinder to sharpen the swords and weapons. Both of those ideas I got from the housing forums on the ESO website. 
There was one post, it's called, I think it was housing hints, tips and ideas and people are sharing what they've learnt and I kind of copied someone else's idea but with their sword grinder they just had it on a bench just sitting like that but with mine I took it a step further and put it as like a little unit here that you can sit just to sharpen some weapons and the turning thing here to spin that around so what I used was a simple idea it's basically just a wheelbarrow but you're just using the wheel and turning it like that it's pretty simple and I have another wheelbarrow underneath it which is a different one without the sides on it I just added that one in because otherwise it would look weird if it was just standing on its own like that whereas adding the, that extra one as the detail the wood detail on it is the same and it closes the box in if that makes sense um, they're just simply the one is the common wheelbarrow flat which is the one that I use there and the other one is the common wheelbarrow sided this side here is just there as you can see and the little turning thing there just is a clockwork crank miniature which is it's small but it works as you can see I will mention because I have this other wheelbarrow down there if you don't have it near this near a wall that other wheel does stick through a bit but you can't see it out from this side so it doesn't matter to me much so that's the grinder idea that I copied from someone else but took it and made it my own and sharing it with you because I hope gives you some ideas for your own which you can use and these shields is another idea that I copied from the forum they're simply just carts but you're just using the wheels as they do look like shields so the Nord cart cargo the wheel looks like a shield I'm also using a uh, a Breton cart wheelbarrow which kind of looks like a shield I'm using that one here on the bench in my shop area just because it's small and you can hide the wheelbarrow section of it in the counter here as you can see I've had to use the extra counter because the shelves otherwise you'd see it so yeah you can hide it in like that and there's another the red guard cart practical that wheel also looks like a shield uh, I have one over here the trick with these is because they're carts they can only be placed near a wall because you just want to see the the wheel of it so if you position it right you can hide the cart in the wall as you can see you do see a bit of it here but can barely notice it same with this one here 
This one's the Nord Cart Cargo. You can see the back of the cart there, but doesn't really bother me. Uh, the one over here is the same. But it's all about angling it right. And this one here, you can't even see the cart. It's kind of hidden behind that box so you don't really notice it and same with this one here or well, you can kind of see it but it doesn't bother me and I went a step further with this shield idea and I found a statue this is the orcish statue Orcish figurine strength. As you can see, the shield is big, nice and big. And there's other statues that have weapons like this, but the shield is easier to do because you can actually hide, at least where I have it, hide the statue itself under there and because you can see a bit of it sticking out through there I just covered that with the tool case there which works pretty well and yeah I just added this shield in here because it's good for a blacksmith workspace and I figured for role play reasons a customer might have requested a shield like this to be made which is why i only have one special custom made shield for a customer also because he's holding a weapon it's a bit hard to show weapons on statues because they are holding it but i was looking at this before and because I have that shield there you could angle the weapon so the hand is like hidden under the shield like that and yeah you can have a different type of weapon in your workshop there's also, as I said before, like other statues like this one. But that sword on this one is the same as this other sword you can get, which I'll talk about in a minute. So if you want to do it like that, you can. And there's other statues in game that have weapons on them. So be creative and hide the hand with some other furniture. These swords here, the replica of Shattered Anze sword, it's an achievement item. And as you saw the one out there, they have two modes. They have the broken shattered mode here and the repaired mode but because this one back here is being repaired I'm leaving it shattered like that. Other types of weapons I've found, I've had to also be creative here, are just these axes. Well there's a rough axe practical. This one is a bigger one compared to these ones which I have just the one here. Um, sadly, this big one is only in the Furniture Crown store. I only got one of them. It's only 15 crowns, but I only did that because I have these smaller ones here, which are the Rough Hatchets Practical. They're a recipe and craftable item in the game. I have set a few of these around my shop so I've got two here I've got one here on the main counter and 
Uh, back here I've got my weapon storage and got two axes there. Uh, these two here, they're kind of hard to see on this, but they are the just the Orcish Knife Kitchens. They're also a recipe and craftable item in game. I just added these because they're kind of like daggers, you could say, or just knives. So yeah, I have two there and I put two here on this shelf. Just because there's not many weapon type furniture items in game, so I had to kind of stretch out and look at furnishings a bit more. Here I have, it's the replica blade of woe. It's an achievement item from Gold Coast. So I've just got one here nicely on display. Simply on a book stand. Just the common book rest practical, but I've angled it so you're using that side there and the blade away fits nicely on it. And I have two more blade of woes here. So I recommend at least getting one or two of those for your workspace if you just want to add some of those lying around wherever. These spears, because there's also no spear furnishing in the game, I had to also think outside the box and use a common post flag because it's pointy kind of like a spear and I've also used the wood elf bar drying the wood elf bar is a recipe and craftable item in game as well as the common post flagpole it's craftable as well both of these I've had to sink into the ground quite a bit, but they work as a makeshift spear because they're both pointy and made of metal. So yeah, improvising those items as spears will work in any blacksmith workshop as well. As I said before, I had to look at other things. These are the cheese graters, actually. Sorry, the cheese cutter. It's an achievement item from the Mages Guild, I believe. I just added those in because they could be like throwing knives or whatever. Just a weird weapon or whatever you might use. Until they add more weapon type furnishings in the game, we have to improvise and use other things. These sword sconces just are the Craglorn ones. Just the Craglorn sword sconce. They are a luxury vendor item. I just added two of those because, as you can see, they've got like short swords on them which I don't have the light on because I just want it for the swords. If you have a couple of those just place them around in your workshop if you want to. So that's how you do a blacksmith workshop. Just add tools, the crafting stations, being creative and thinking outside the box with the grinder and the shields and until they actually give us those type of furnishings we just have to make do with these for now so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to ask those below if there's something I missed talking about please also let me know in the comments below and as always, thank you for watching.